Uh, I spent way too long doing my makeup this morning and I'm starved. So I'm not gonna have an intro to this video. This is the intro, hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's make something to eat. Actually, I almost forgot. I have to do the very last day of my advent calendar. <gasps> oh, look, it's a little Santa. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. You know, I feel like it should be an actual crime for the inside of a chocolate to just be chocolate. So for breakfast, mmm, cinnamon rolls because, I mean, isn't Christmas really all about becoming pre-diabetic within a 24-hour period? Mmm, oh my god. Mmm, so this year I am spending Christmas alone. The <laughs> Don't do that, don't do that. I literally just heard you say, oh, no, no. It's not an awe. I could have went home to be with my family, but I literally just flew my parents out here like two months ago. So I was like, I really don't want to spend the money. Don't want to deal with the airport stress. Don't want to like get sick while traveling and just all of it. I just, I don't know. This year I just really was feeling a low key Christmas. Just me and my kitties. <gasps> Minnie, come say hi. That's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Say Merry Christmas. Oh, you got a sniff of that and now you want some more. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So, yeah. I'm alone, but not lonely. Just because you're alone doesn't mean you're lonely. I actually spent almost this entire year alone. This is the first year in my life I didn't have a boyfriend. Amen. And I think next year I probably won't have a boyfriend either because honestly, I think this is a real learning curve to being alone and now I'm so used to it and I've learned how to make myself so happy that I'm just like, I don't even need that shit. Why do I, why do I need that shit? I mean, if I want a baby, maybe, but I don't even know if I want that anymore. We'll see. But before we open gifts, I thought I would give you guys a quick little uh, tour of some cozy Christmas aesthetic vibes. Here in the bedroom, I got a little strand of lights. I brought in my super thick, cozy blanket, which Buki loves, don't you, baby? You love this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then over here, we have a little garland, a little garland action with some candles, which I don't have lit right now. And then in the bathroom, there's like nothing but a candle. Out here, it's pretty cute, right? Cozy, cozy, cozy vibes. I uh, have the Grinch on. I got a little candle over here on my table. And then you guys saw this earlier. And that's about it. So moving on to opening gifts. How exciting. Look at all these presents. I'm so loved. Okay, so this first one we have right here. It says to Kalel from Kalel. Oh my gosh, how... Thoughtful. We have a Charlotte Tilbury lip product. This is a uh, clear, a clear balm. I actually wanted this just for the tube. This is the most like amazing design ever. Next we have another little one. This one says to Kalel from Santa. Oh my gosh, Santa. Santa, you haven't visited me in a long time. Was I good this year or what? Okay, we have a Lush bag. And this, I think, is maybe something you drop in the bathtub, you know? Uh, like a bubbling thing or something. But Santa, um, I hate to tell you this, but I don't have a bathtub. <laughs> so, hmm, maybe I'll go to the community pool and drop it in the jacuzzi one night and you know just kidding i would never do that <laughs> i will not don't worry i'm not that stupid okay this one says to kalel from kalel kalel you outdid yourself this year wow Ooh. we have the pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette i saw the little instagram video of this you know how she makes those iconic swatch videos with all the sequins in the background and like the little um kira kira effect oh my gosh i saw the video of that for this and i was like have to have it 
every single year my mom goes what can i get you for christmas and i say mom there's not one single thing that i need save your money please don't buy me anything but i feel like that breaks my mom's heart and my mom really really enjoys gifting things to other people she enjoys the process of giving and like choosing things and such so this year i said mom fine i want some gloves <laughs> so this is obviously more than gloves let's see <laughs> so much candy mom Ugh. I love you, thank you, but like, oh, you know I can't resist candy. You buy me so much candy, I'm gonna eat it all. Okay, we got some gloves, obviously. We got candy, 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 candy. All of my favorite candies. Oh my gosh, more candy. Mom, oh my God, more candy. Oh my God, more candy, mother. Ooh, this is so pretty. Like a really pretty old notebook and just some other notebooks and things. Ooh, a really nice pen. And also my grandma specifically picked out this really beautiful mirror for me. Look how beautiful this is. Thank you, grandma. I really, oh, it's a magnifying one. <laughs> I did not need to see myself that close up, but actually, you know, I look kind of good today. My lipstick though. My eyeliner though, that nose contour, <laughs> Anyway, thank you, grandma, mom, dad, for all of these things and the candy, which I don't need, but thank you. Next, we have another one that says to Kalel from Kalel. Really Kalel, my God. Okay, we have a Nest perfume collection, wow. Because I currently own one Nest perfume, Indigo. Love it. It's so unique. It smells like tea, I think is what they list it as. Uh, but it's so unique. It's so good that I thought I really want to try all the others. I'm a perfume fanatic. Like, I can't get enough. I love fragrance. Uh, also, to Kalel from Kalel. <laughs> we have, oh my god, more candy. What, Kalel, why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? Okay, Kinder chocolate, because who does not love Kinder chocolate? And then, um, I love, 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 love marzipan. Love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. It's a texture thing. I'm a really big texture person when it comes to food. I will eat things just because I enjoy the texture in my mouth. I don't really care if the taste is that great or not. And marzipan, I mean, it, it tastes good, but I love, love, love the texture of marzipan. And I saw these and I thought, the texture of this feels just phenomenal. And also the fact that it's marketed to be like potatoes is so odd that it's actually cool. So <laughs> I was like, yes, absolutely. So thank you, Kalel, for remembering that I saw these at the store and I said that I wanted it. It was just, yeah, amazing, amazing. And actually, you know, there's one more gift back here that I almost didn't see. It says, to Kalel from Santa. Santa, two gifts, Whoa. It says a fold bathtub. A fold bathtub. So that's why Santa got me this, a bathtub. But how can a bath, what is a fold bathtub? How can a bathtub be in this box? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. Just look at how gorgeous these shadows are. Would you just look at the gorgeousness? Look at that beautiful shimmery cream. This lip balm though, like I cannot get over how beautiful this tube is, guys. And you see it's just kind of clear like that. I was just testing it. I'm so excited to test out all these perfumes, you guys. I think the one that's going to be my favorite other than the Indigo is this Black Tulip. 
And these little bottles are so cute. Now, moving on to bigger and better things. These potatoes, okay, I'm just, do you know how hard it has been for me not to bust this open? Oh my God. Would you just look at this? Look at this, it really does look like a little potato and it's so firm. Here we go, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very excited. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these, so cute. This is a lot of chocolate. That's too much chocolate for me. I like like little small, small chocolates that have different fillings. I just don't like solid or even like hollow whatever chocolate. But these, ooh, hazelnut like cream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are these ones? These have some kind of like little crispy inside. trying to get all cozy. This, this bomb though, is actually really nice. So, um, yeah, I think before I make dinner, which I'm making a little baby feast, just a little baby, just a little baby one, um, just gonna chill, watch a movie and Maybe have a glass of wine. Right now I literally can't move. I'm like stuck here because I have a little baby angel sleeping on my lap. So I guess I'll just sit here and I actually wish I had a makeup brush because I like really want to put, I really want to put this on right now. I want to put this on like my inner corner. Like right here, like my inner third. <laughs> I guess I can use my finger. I mean, yeah. um, are you guys seeing this? This is like offensively gorgeous. Okay, like Pat, really, Pat, girl, <laughs> you did that. You did that. What is this shade name? Cause like, I need a gallon, a gallon. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, and I'm still stuck here. What do I do? For today's wine selection, we have a 2016 Riesling from the Lucen Brothers. And you know, I know there's a bit of a stigma about drinking alone. I just wanna stress you guys that I only drink alcohol maybe, oh Jesus Christ. I only drink alcohol maybe four or five times a year. And when I do, it's usually just like one or two or three glasses of wine. So, you know, it's a holiday. Let's pop a bottle. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm joking. I was gonna just pour the whole bottle. Just a little to take the edge off of being forever alone. All right, here's the spread. We got some cheese, crackers, pickles, shrimp, wine. Bitch, we're ready to relax. And what should we watch, guys? Oh. Okay, I'm thinking this. This Disney Nutcracker. Let's give it a try. Did you guys know that this girl right here is uh, the love child of Edward and Bella from Twilight? Did you know that? There you go, there she is. Cheers, guys, to us. May our holiday time be <laughs> good. <laughs> wow, I have such a way with words, it's, it's amazing. Not bad. Can I just say that I must have slept wrong last night? You know how people say that? I've always heard people say that, but it's never happened to me. But last night happened to me. Must have slept wrong. <laughs> and my right, like, I don't know what muscle this is, but girl, I feel like I was in an extreme car accident. I like, I really like, I have very limited mobility on my right side, like I can't, I really can't turn my head. 
even though I'm doing it right now. Um, I, <laughs> I really can't. I'm drunk. Just kidding. I've had like literally three sips. <laughs> so originally I wasn't planning on making like a full blown feast or whatever because it's just me and I'm like, am I really about to go all Martha Stewart, make this fancy ass handmade from scratch meal just for myself? I mean, I know the moral of this video has been like how much I love myself and how much I like do special things for myself, but like I don't love myself that much. <laughs> So basically, at the last minute, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna whip something up. I'm gonna whip something up just real quick. The quick version, the 30 minute version instead of the three hour version, you know what I'm saying? I could make some from scratch juicy chicken gravy or for $1.50, I could just buy some that comes in a jar, you know what I'm saying? I could make some fresh green bean casserole with some crisp green beans some homemade mushroom soup or, you know, some cans, plop it in, stir it up, call it a day. Cause you know, here's the perfect analogy for the situation. You know where you have those, those times where you spend a really long time on your makeup. Let's say you spend an hour on your makeup. You got everything is on fleek, uh, lines are all perfect, liner is perfect, you maybe popped on a lash. Everything is just, right? Let me tell you something though. You might think you look really good, but the world actually only perceives you as maybe three to 5% more attractive than if you had done your makeup in like five to 10 minutes. This is a fact, I'm telling you, this is a fact. <laughs> Depressing, but true. It's exactly like the same thing with the dinner. If I had made it from scratch, it would have maybe been five to 10% tastier. What's well, five to 10%? Five to 10%, Psh. I mean, with my makeup, I'll definitely still spend an hour. All right, everything is all done. Looking tasty. By the way, guys, I am still on the same glass of wine. <laughs> it's been like three hours. Uh, I was hoping to get a little tipsy for this video, but I guess that's not gonna happen. So I just need to mash these potatoes and put some gravy, and then we'll sit down and eat. All right, there you have it. Christmas feast 2019. Only took me one hour. Let's go sit down at my little table that I like pretty much never use. <laughs> this is the equivalent of my like formal dining room. <laughs> you know, that table that gets used twice a year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I think I made it too soft. I put too much broth. I'm not really getting a lot of corn from this. She's elegant, okay. <laughs> She's a classy eater. Mm, I mean, it's still good. But you know, the real star of the show, green bean casserole. Seriously, whoever crafted this beautiful recipe really deserves like the Nobel Prize of the culinary world, which I'm sure there's something like that, right? Oh my God, just. So I thought while we were eating dinner, um, we could discuss the resolutions for the new year. I have quite a few. My first one is, uh, I kind of started it this year, but basically every decade for the rest of my life, I want to dedicate to becoming fluent in a different language. So from 2020 to 2029, I will be becoming fluent in Korean. And I've actually already started because I mean, this whole thing started because I watch a lot of Korean dramas. I've been watching Korean dramas for years, but like this past year I've really gotten into it and I've just binge watched a shit ton. And I realized that I was like really picking up the language because whenever I watch it, I watch it with English subtitles and Korean subtitles at the same time. So it's just kind of like going into my brain and I thought, I should really just take the time to learn. The feeling I get from understanding a language is so intoxicating. Like every single time I'm listening and I'm like, I understand more and more and more and more. It's like, yes, yes, yes. And it's like this constant challenge and reward system that I find very rewarding. Resolution number two is I wanna post on Instagram at least one thing every single day, like my Instagram story. Even if it's something like what I'm eating or like 
what I'm wearing, what I'm reading, what I'm thinking, the cats, whatever. I'm just really bad at keeping in touch like through social media. I really just get caught up in my own little world and I forget to share things. So I feel like if I make it a point to share at least one thing every single day, I can get into the habit of letting people into my life a little bit more. So if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram to see what my one thing I post every day is. Third resolution is a little cheesy, but it's just simply to love myself more. I'm a really negative person. I'm constantly down on myself. I'm always uh, vocalizing what I don't like about myself. You know, just like you're stupid, it's wrong, it's, uh, this is wrong. Da, 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 da. I just wanna really try to shut that up. Like in the past, I've been aware of this as, as a problem for a really long time, but um, I wanna really, really work at changing my neural pathways and like altering my brain the best that I can. Fourth resolution is just to simply get out of my apartment more. Literally this year, I was in my apartment nonstop, nonstop. I was probably in here about 95% of the year. Really didn't leave much. So in 2020, I wanna leave a lot. I plan on traveling. I plan on spending a few months in Korea uh, just to you know help accelerate my learning. I wanna go to like a language school there and I just kind of want to get out. I don't know if I'll end up being able to actually stay there for a few months just because like my cats and just I'm so used to my cozy home life. Um, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'll buy like a one-way ticket and you know, like a refundable Airbnb and we'll see what happens. Resolution number five is to work on friendships. So, I don't really have friends because I've always had a boyfriend and I'm that bitch that like just gives all her attention to her boyfriend when she's dating someone and then the friendships just kind of like fade away because I stopped trying. Um, and so now I kind of reach a point, you know, where like I don't really, I have friends, don't get me wrong, but they're not really best friends by any means. It's like friends that you see a few times a year or whatever, which as an adult, that's kind of how a lot of friendships are but I really want to start working on my friendships more and being a better friend to people that I care about. And I want to make some new friends. I really want to make some new friends because I'm the kind of person I'm like really lazy when it comes to making friends. I'm never, ever the person to make the first move. Like I've never in my entire life, I think, found somebody that like I felt I wanted to be friends with and then made an effort to be friends with them. I'm always just kind of like on the receiving end, like somebody makes plans with me and I just go along with it. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> just It's just laziness, honestly. Both the cats come up here and they're just giving me this look, like, uh, excuse me, you made this whole feast for yourself and you're not gonna give us anything? You don't get nothing? Oh, Bookie's getting hostile. Stop it. I can't reward that behavior. Here we go. A special treat for my little angels. Hmm? Merry Christmas, Rainy. Okay, guys, I've poured another glass of wine, and I'm thinking it's time to just have a nice, relaxing bath or just see. Um, did I waste my money on this? What is a fold bathtub? We're about to find out. If this works out, it's really gonna change my life, guys, because I don't think you understand. Like, I am a bath addict. I love a scalding hot bath, and I haven't been able to take a bath in, what, mm, six months? So I'm about to be really excited. Why, why are there like parts? Oh wait, this is more difficult than I thought. What? What is that? What? Why are there so many pieces? Oh. Oh. This is big. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Insert into the six holes. Insert. Greeny, if you poke a hole in this, your life's over. Okay, this thing is not a joke. <laughs> Do you guys see how big this is? Look, compared to Buki. This could easily... <laughs> I'm dying. 
cute. So you see, anytime I want to take a bath, I just pop her up in there. This is deep. Do you guys understand how deep this is? Like if I was sit if I was sitting in this, my head's gonna like come up to right here. Would you look at this setup? <laughs> Fancy little treats, a huge bubble bath, a little candle. I'm so excited to get in here, oh my god. This is getting really intimate that we're taking a bath together. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the best purchase I've ever made. Where am I put my phone? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is a thumbnail if I ever did see one, bitch. What I got for Christmas 2018. Oh, I need this towel. <laughs> oh, imagine the whole fucking. <laughs> What inspired this purchase was the song We Need a Little Christmas and it's like slice up the fruit cake and I'm like I never had that It tastes exactly like you think it would Honestly, I cannot go over that bathtub you guys it exceeded my expectations by like a hundred points I think it was only about fifty dollars and the quality of it is so good. I'm just it feels so good to have the option of having a bathtub again. If I'm like sick or have bad cramps or something, to just be able to get into a warm bath is really just, it's my thing. And when I moved into this place, I cried over not having a bath, but I loved this apartment so much that I was like, I'll deal with it, whatever. Um, but now I had the best of both worlds, so I'm so happy. Anyway, this video is so long. I bet this video is like 30 minutes maybe even like 40 minutes i don't even know how long i've been talking but um thank you so much for hanging out with me for spending christmas with me obviously it's not christmas when you're watching this or maybe it is in 2020 if you're alone christmas 2020 come back watch this video we'll be alone together anyway thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you guys really soon